hope you all are doing well. We welcome you all to the one day national level FTP on learning techniques on handling digital images organized by School of Computer Science and Engineering with AP University and the faculty coordinators of this session are Dr. Kupuswami P, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and Engineering with AP University and Dr. Mehfooza Munawar, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and Engineering with AP University. This session will cover one of the emerging topics of machine learning techniques for image classification. Now let me take a privilege for introducing today's guest, our keynote speaker, Dr. Asadi Srinivasulu, sir. Dr. Asadi Srinivasulu completed his B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from Sri Venkateshwara University, Tirupati, and completed his M.Tech in Intelligent Systems from Indian Institute of Information Technology, IIIT, Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh. He received his PhD from JNTU, Anantapur. Currently, he is working as a professor of IT and Head Research Data Science Research Lab, Bluecrest University, Monrovia, Liberia. He has got 20 years of teaching and industrial experience. He has received so many awards and one of the awards is Bharat Vidya Ratan from International Business Council Delhi in 2018 and Lifetime Achievement Excellent Award 2022 and Outstanding Teacher Award 2022 received from Research Indian Foundation for the academic year 2022 to 23 and Best Mentor for the TGMC project for the years 20. 2010 to 2012 and his area of interest includes big data analytics data mining data warehousing artificial intelligence cloud computing internet of things pattern recognition mission learning and software engineering he is a professional member of csi acm nascom asgf and indian congress association and he is also an editorial board member of i managers journal on cloud computing he has editorial board membership of uh, sei era journal of computers he has published more than 125 papers in international journals and conferences he has attended more than 175 workshops symposiums and seminars. He has conducted and acted as a resource person for more than 125 international journals and conferences, workshops, symposiums and seminars. Such an eminent person is available with us today. So listen to Sir carefully and follow the session. I kindly request you to take over the session, Sir. Thank you, Madam, for nice introduction. Uh, thank you, sir, uh, coordinator, sir, Dr. Kupu Swami, sir, for inviting me uh, for this one-day national level FDP faculty development program uh, on machine learning techno techniques for image classification. See, nowadays, machine learning is a emerging and um, uh, very good buzzword in the industry in order to develop all automation applications especially in healthcare data analytics we are using uh, machine learning and deep learning and artificial intelligence techniques especially for uh, uh, image uh, biomedical image health classification algorithms and today i am going to cover uh, various topics in uh, machine learning and three approaches like uh, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. And uh, before going to my topic, if you have internet, you can check uh, within 60 seconds what is happening. How many users are connected to this internet world? Can you imagine such a huge number of uh, internet users connected to this world? If you see 6,94,444 hours watched in the Netflix, 3.8 million such queries, 1 million logins, Facebook, 18.1 million text sent, 4.5 million videos sent, videos view, 1.8 million emails sent. Likewise, if you click this URL, www.internetlivestats.com, so you will get these are the huge numbers. See here, internet users in this world, can you read this number? Very huge number. If you have internet, you can type www.internetlivestats.com. 
So you will get uh, total number of websites opened in this second, email sent today in this second, Google searches today, blog post written today, tweet sent today. These are the uh, huge number of uh, internet users are connected to this world. So where the data is coming from, how you are storing the huge volume of data in the servers, how many servers are required to store huge volume of data. These are the questions you may get uh, doubt. To solve these type, sort of questions, we are going to use cloud computing technology. Cloud is an internet-based technology, pay and use. The backbone of cloud computing is data center and virtualization. Data center is nothing but collection of a high integrated computing servers at one place is called a data center. And the virtualization is the ability to perform multiple tasks in a single system is called virtualization. Uh, with the help of virtualization technologies like VMware, Hypervisor, Zen, Virtual Iron, we are creating a n number of virtual machines in a cloud environment. The best consumer of cloud computing is Gmail. If you open Gmail anytime, anywhere, 24 by 7, it is giving service. Why I'm explaining? Because huge number of uh, internet users are connected and the data is flowing between server to server, server to computer, computer to server, network to network, data center to data center. That's why the backbone of this uh, internet livestarts.com is data center and uh, cloud computing. Traditional servers are not enough to store huge volume of data. That's why we are using cloud data centers. So if you see the same thing I have incorporated in this uh, uh, slide itself, how many users are connected to this internet world, where the data is coming from, how many servers are required, how the data is represented in the, uh, in, uh, in the servers or system or data center, etc. So now see, uh, actually uh, one week uh, program I used to conduct on data science. There I'm covering uh, eight subjects. The first and foremost and prominent subjects in data science, introduction to data science, Python programming or Go programming, statistics, artificial intelligence, data mining, artificial neural networks, Machine learning, deep learning, augmented reality, virtual reality technology. So today, uh, Professor uh, Kupu Swamiswar uh, requested for me uh, machine learning techniques for image classification. That's why I'm choosing a eighth concept uh, in in my uh, in my data science syllabus. That is machine learning. How I have applied machine learning algorithms for. Uh, uh, image classification I am going to demonstrate with practical sessions. So before going to my topic, uh, let me introduce uh, measuring the data in machine learning. If you, if you press capital A or capital B in the system, system cannot understand the capital A or capital B because internally it converts into ASCII format. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Capital A ASCII value is 65. If you divide it by 2, you are getting binary equivalent number of uh, 65 is 100001. So that means computer understands only ones and zeros. Now see the measuring the data in machine learning or computer science or information technology field. One bit is equal to 0 or 1. Four bits is equal to 1 nibble. 8 bits is equal to 1 byte, 4 bytes is equal to 1 word, 4 words is equal to 1024 bytes, 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte, 1024 kilobyte is equal to 1 megabyte, 1024 megabyte is equal to 1 gigabyte, 1024 gigabyte is equal to 1 terabytes, after that petabytes, hexabytes, octabytes, zettabytes, yottabytes. Hi. I am Robo, 
my speed is 1 terabytes and my memory is 1 zettabyte before that robo movie we don't know the terminology frequently after that robo movie we came to know there is a terminology is presented in the computers world so that is a one zettabyte and one yottabyte thanks to director shankar sir and rajini sir they have introduced uh, that terminology uh, quite famously so 1024 uh, yottabyte is equal to 1 one, 1 one brontobyte yesterday night again i have checked the terminology about uh, data yes there are two more new terminologies presented 1024 yottabyte is equal to 1 brontobyte 1024 brontobyte is equal to 1 geobyte 1024 geobyte is equal to infinity this geobyte is geo not jio that geo is ruined students life and spoiled students life students are addicted for a geo service initially they are giving free of cost after that they are charging so this geo byte is different 1024 bronto byte is equal to 1 geo byte 1024 geo byte is equal to infinity and if you see same terminology in mathematical 1 kilobyte is 10 power 3 1 megabyte is 10 power 6 One gigabyte is ten power nine. One terabyte is ten power twelve. See in in big data range, petabyte is ten power fifteen. Exabyte is ten power eighteen. Zettabyte is ten power twenty one. Yottabyte is ten power twenty four. Brontobyte is ten power twenty seven. Geobyte is ten power thirty. So this is the measuring the data in machine learning. And uh, today I am going to explain. various concepts in machine learning machine learning is nothing but learning from the observational data uh, by using uh, uh, supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning in supervised learning is nothing but there is a target class label based on that target and label we are classifying the data with the help of linear regression logistic regression support vector machine non linear regression decision tree random forest k nearest neighbor artificial neural networks these are the supervised learning then unsupervised learning means uh, there is no label there is no target class but i would like to classify the data based on the similarity measure that is called clustering based on the unsupervised learning we are classifying the data by using clustering techniques called k means clustering c means clustering euclidean distance elbow method fuzzy c means agglomerative clustering density based clustering and where are there are various unsupervised learning concepts i am going to demonstrate then third one is reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is nothing but based on the punishment and reward we are solving the various applications especially automation applications in, by using artificial intelligence especially in gaming applications we are using reinforcement learning in order to implement gaming applications we are using sarsa reinforcement learning techniques dqn ddpg and a3c these are the popular gaming uh, reinforcement learning algorithms i am using for demonstration purpose and uh, so this is a overview of machine learning today i am going to give you introduction to machine learning in order to uh, classify the images i am using uh, python programming so how to write code in google colab jupiter pycharm idlg i am going to demonstrate then supervised learning these are the concepts i am going to demonstrate and unsupervised learning and uh, especially unsupervised learning association market basket analysis using a priori algorithm market bas basket optimization analysis using e clat association algorithm and uh, followed by the reinforcement learning natural language processing in natural language processing study of different uh, languages study of linguistics 
by using artificial machine learning, deep learning techniques. So here I am going to demonstrate sentiment analysis using natural language processing, breast cancer image, X-ray image tumor prediction using XZBoost, and deep learning is nothing but. It is a learning from the observational data with a deep manner by combining a huge number of input and hidden layers. So here I'm going to classify a PIMA Indians diabetes classification, COVID-19 image data detection using convolutional neural networks and artificial intelligence snake game using reinforcement learning. So th this is the syllabus today I'm going to demonstrate and uh, so what is meant by machine learning machine learning is nothing but learning from the observational data uh, okay uh, and uh, it is a branch of computer uh, uh, computer science study of computer algorithms that improve automatically through experience and can learn and adapt new data without human intervention so machine learning is a branch of in computer science, uh, uh, sorry, in artificial intelligence. It provides smart alternatives to analyze vast volumes of data by developing fast and efficient algorithms and data-driven models for real-time processing of data. We are using machine learning can produce accurate uh, uh, results and precision and analysis. The field of machine learning is concerned with the question of how to construct computer programs that automatically improve the experience. This great uh, definition given by the Tom Mitchell. If you see, uh, my dear participants, can you name it? What is the technical name of this image? By seeing this image, you may get doubts, sir. It is related to machine learning. Yes. And uh, how you are publicizing about uh, Valor Institute of Technology, AP, at Vijayawada, by using pamphlets, by using SMS, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, banners, scorecards, everything you are using. In that category, this image also comes under. Can anyone know what is the technical name of this image? My dear participants, Anyone can answer in the chat box. Word cloud. Fantastic. It's a word cloud. It is a one more way of publicizing uh, uh, about uh, organization, about the technology or about any tool or anything. See, I have incorporated in this image tools, communication, artificial intelligence, programming, pattern recognition, supervisor learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, everything I have incorporated. That's why uh, the technical name of this image is called machine learning board cloud. Fantastic answer. And uh, how do machine learning algorithms work? If you see, uh, these algorithms utilize variety of techniques to handle large amounts of data, especially in complex data to make decisions. These algorithms complete the task of learning from data with specific inputs given to the machine. Maybe text data, maybe audio data, video data, image data, etc. So the machine learning life cycle follows the training, training the model. Model means simplified version of the reality. Model creation, prediction, analysis, Retraining, if it is not showing good results, then prediction is the life cycle of any machine learning algorithm. This enables us the machine learning algorithm to learn on its own and produce an optimal and accurate answers that will gradually increase in a especially accuracy over the time. So if you see machine learning, we are having three approaches like uh, Supervisor learning. I have explained already supervisor learning is nothing but there is a target class, there is a label based on that one we are classifying the data, especially regression classification. Regression techniques are decision tree, linear regression, logistic regression. Classification techniques are naive base, support vector machine, k nearest neighbor. 
if you say unsupervised learning so there is no label there is no target class but we are dividing the classes based on the similarity measure by using euclidean distance square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square this is called euclidean distance in order to measure the similarity measure between the points especially in clustering techniques and uh, there are two types we are using clustering dimensionality reduction in clustering we are using k means clustering and k medoids then a dimensionality reduction we are using face recognition applications by using principal component analysis feature selection linear discriminant analysis lda then a reinforcement learning based on the punishment and reward we are solving the gaming applications there are various algorithms like dqn sarsa atrc etc so what what is meant by introduction to machine learning see here it is a sub field of artificial intelligence intelligent behavior in a machine is called artificial intelligence the science and engineering to design to develop various intelligent applications so the goal of machine learning generally is to understand the structure of data and fit the data into models that can be understood and utilized by the people see the steps involved in this uh, uh, machine learning first we are taking as ordinary system as input with ai then machine learning it learns and predicts and it improves the accuracy then uh, machine learning is the study of computer programs especially computer algorithms machine learning algorithms that leverage algorithms and statistical models to learn through inference and patterns without being explicitly programmed based on the tools and techniques we are performing see i have explained the types of machine learning supervised learning all data is labeled and the algorithms learn to predict the output from the input data that's why it is called a task driven unsupervised learning all data is unlabeled and the algorithms learn to inherit structure from the input data that's why we can call it as it is data driven and uh, reinforcement learning it works on interacting with the environment whereas the supervised learning method works on given sample data or example it learns learning from the errors based on the punishment and reward we are solving the problems so machine learning is important because it gives the enterprises a view of trends in customer behavior and business operational patterns pattern is a, a model model is nothing but a simplified version of the reality as well as supports the development of new products so supervised learning the algorithm learns the relationship between specific inputs like audio video text graphics and images and outputs based on the training data and the human feedback so that's why we are using regression and the classification in order to generate future trends we are using regression and classification techniques unsupervised learning the algorithm analyzes the data from trends and patterns without being given a specific output variable or human feedback that's why we are using clustering and dimensionality reduction in order to solve various unlabeled data images reinforcement learning the algorithm learns over time to maximize returns based on the rewards it receives for performing certain actions that's why we are using model free and model based punishment and reward concept especially we are using in gaming applications then uh, what do you want the machine learning system to do my dear participants if you are having any doubts please ask me i am going to clarify so machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence that allows software applications to become more accurate at predicting outcomes without being explicitly programmed to do so based on tools and techniques 
we are solving all the applications so this especially machine learning algorithms use historical data that means legacy data old data of suppose 10 years old data that is called historical data as input to predict new output values so that is called future trends if you see um, how this machine learning system to do i want to see if there are uh, natural clusters or dimensions in the data i have about different situations then go for unsupervised learning may be appropriate that is called clustering anomaly detection i want to learn what uh, actions to take uh, in different situations then go do you want the machine learning system to be active or passive so an active the system's own actions will affect the situation it sees in the future passive the system will learn from data i given it okay so do you want do you have access data that describe a lots of examples of situations and appropriate uh, actions for each situation so like that would there be a patterns in this situation that humans haven't recognized before no supervisor learning may be be appropriate do we have access to data that describes lot of examples of situation and appropriate actions for each situation if it is no then go for machine learning is not useful will the system be able to gather a lot of data by trying sequence of actions in many different situations and seeing the results if it is yes then go for reinforcement learning may be appropriate if it is no go for machine learning is not useful so this is about what do you want the machine learning system to do so these are the types of machine learning approaches supervised learning based on the task driven unsupervised learning based on the data driven reinforcement learning based on the learn from mistakes or errors so machine learning process it involves making system that learn and improve by themselves by being specifically programmed the ultimate goal of machine learning is to design algorithms that automatically help a system gather data and use that data to learn more see the big data i am giving i am taking as a input data audio video text image data and uh, training data and making a big model then uh, taking the decision in the application so learning and inference okay then uh, see the machine learning life cycle the steps data gathering data preparation data wrangling data analysis model training model testing deployment these are the seven steps are involved in this machine learning life cycle then uh, how does machine learning work see here so machine learning is a form of artificial intelligence that teaches computers to think in a similar way to how humans do especially learning and improving upon past experiences it works by exploring data and identifying patterns and involves minimal human intervention if you see input data may be audio video text graphics animation data then analyze the data find patterns prediction stores the feedback so how does machine learning working this is the steps we are following then machine learning examples if you see machine learning would be trained with pictures of dogs this is example and other things all labeled by humans and the machine would learn ways to identify pictures of dogs on its own this is the example for a machine learning there are various examples like self driving cars predicting an illness credit worthiness ranking on social media computer vision in agriculture targeted emails and question and answer space platform and the fashion industry targeted emails then uh, see one more example i am going to explain uh, reinforcement learning so 
there is a problem called uh, see there is a fire there is a bucket full of water and the right and right side there is a fire so environment and agent intelligent agent intelligent agent is a robot now according to instructions a robot agent will act, perform the actions so agent is observing right side fire and left side full of bucket with full of water so as a user you are giving instructions to the intelligent agent first observe select the action using policy so third step action suppose uh, it went right side and uh, agent uh, hands are burn so which 50 points we are reducing then fourth step get reward or penalty we are giving penalty for this intelligent robot so update policy learning step fire is equal to bad then next time it, you avoid it i am giving the instruction then uh, then intelligent agent iterate until an optimal policy is found so uh, this intelligent agent uh, taking good step after punishment that's why it is called uh, reinforcement learning my dear uh, participants this is the best example for reinforcement learning these are the steps we used to follow then uh, these are the machine learning approaches like uh, algorithms supervised learning we have regression and classification unsupervised learning we are having clustering association rule mining dimensionality reduction and ensemble learning we are having uh, stacking bagging boosting natural uh, network neural networks and deep learning we are having convolutional neural network recurrent neural network generative adversarial network and auto encoders perceptron etc then uh, reinforcement learning we are having algorithms like uh, q learning dqn sarsa genetic algorithm a3c so this is these are the machine learning approaches see predictive analytic strategy is nothing but it determines the likelihood of future outcomes using techniques like data mining extracting meaningful interested pattern from the huge volume of data then statistics data modeling artificial intelligence and machine learning put simply predictive analytics interprets an organization's historical data to make predictions about the future see the predictive analytic strategy pre processing michigan data set so we are extracting feature selection modeling simplified version of the reality five fold cross validation then tell then uh, uh, telecommunication with the data set feature selection modeling five fold cross validation michigan plus telecommunication data set we are doing feature selection modeling training and validation this is about a predictive analytic strategy if you see in traditional approaches the parameter values are fixed based on the statistical calculations in machine learning the parameter values are fixed in the process of training the model so model is nothing but simplified version of the reality if you see traditional programming or machine machine learning of machine learning so data program we are taking as a input to the computer it gives the output in machine learning data and output we are giving to the computer it gives the model model means simplified version of the reality if you see traditional model prediction data and hand crafted model You are, you are giving input to the computer it gives the results in machine learning you are taking sample data expected results new new data and uh, gives input to the computer it gives the model and results this is about uh, the traditional approaches versus machine learning approaches see traditional approaches the parameter values are fixed based on the statistical calculation in machine learning the parameter values are fixed in the process of training the model 
So for training purpose, seventy-five percent we are using images, twenty-five percent we are using for testing. Types of machine learning algorithms: C supervised learning. We are having classification under that fraud detection, email spam detection, diagnostics, image classification. Then regression, risk assessment, score prediction, unsupervised learning, deep uh, dimensionality reduction. We are using text mining, face recognition, big data visualization, image recognition, etc. Clustering, biology, city planning, targeted marketing, etc. Reinforcement learning. Uh, we are using gaming, finance sector, manufacturing, inventory management. reinforcement robot navigation etc the four different types of machine learning algorithms we are using supervised learning unsupervised learning semi supervised learning and reinforcement learning semi supervised learning is nothing but based on the combination of supervised and unsupervised learning it becomes semi supervised learning so these are the algorithms machine learning Take uh, regression, linear polynomial classification, k nearest neighbor, trees, logistic regression, naive Bayes, support vector machine. This is clustering comes under unsupervised learning, support vector dimension, principal component analysis, k means clustering. Association analytics, a priori algorithm, frequent pattern growth algorithm, hidden Markov model, HNN. So that is reinforcement learning. There are two types: continuous and discrete categorical data. Then machine learning algorithms. If you see uh, supervised learning, data with label, classification and regression. If you take classification example, email spam detection, speech recognition, regression, stock market prediction, and rainfall prediction. in unsupervised learning data without label that is called clustering examples like identifying fake news document analysis then association rule mining a priori algorithm fb growth e clant examples market basket analysis see dimensional reduction like feature extraction principal component analysis feature selection wrapper filter embedded method the next example analysis of written text and dna microarray data then reinforcement learning state and action a model free q learning policy optimization b model based etc then these are the machine learning approaches i have explained already various techniques regression like uh, regression tree spatial networks fuzzy classification artificial neural networks etc then these are the various approaches of uh, uh, supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning reinforcement learning real time decisions game ai learning tasks skill acquisition robot navigation so this is about uh, machine learning reinforcement learning so machine learning algorithms like linear regression class or act classification and regression trees k nearest neighbor machine learning support vector machine q learning linear di discriminant analysis logistic regression naive bayes learning vector organization bagging under random forest boosting and ada boost machine learning tools like statistical mathematical tool like r scilab sas spss pspp statistical models ipy numpy etc general purpose we are having various tools like scikit learn veka3 mvoi rapid miner matlab create aclet and shogun and narrowed solutions like xgboost wowpal wabbit lip linear lip svm nl nt nltk genome gensim 
interactive platform jupiter zeppelin orange kibana grafana tableau then uh, see machine learning deep learning with map reduce and deep learning with the gpu graphical processing unit deep learning wrapper libraries these are the various uh, tools we are using this one we have uh, executed this one this repeated slide then any doubt my dear participants please respond any doubts it is clear please respond anyone if you are having any doubts clear sir okay thank you machine learning uh, algorithm road map see ml engineer after uh, Uh, your course or your graduation you are becoming a machine learning analyst or machine learning engineer so you have to follow the steps like this you need to have a mathematics background like a probability statistics discrete mathematical structures programming like r go java python etc databases like mysql sql teradata db2 mongo database etc machine learning then we are applying scikit learn supervised learning and supervised learning and reinforcement learning then we are applying machine learning libraries like um, and non machine learning libraries machine learning li li algorithms like linear regression logistic regression non linear regression knn k means random forest and more then deep learning tensor flow keras neural networks cnn rnn and uh, gan okay generic adversarial networks long short term memory system lstms then data visualization tools tableau click view power bi then finally you become as a machine learning engineer machine learning analytics tools like developer tools like statistical platforms pandas exploratory data analytics tools predictive model markup language pm ml then um, scikit learn machine learning model builders portable format for analytics mongo database scriptable databases hadoop map reduce storm real time analytics spark in, in iterative analytics and uh, field programming then and uh, if you see gpu and co processors etc these are the tools these are the machine learning tools keras pytorch naim rapid miner jupiter etc and uh, open uh, neural networks apache spark game to machine learning tools like tensor flow keras etc machine learning softwares like weka weka to environment knowledge for analysis weka came from mecca mecca is a flightless bird at uh, new zealand and uh, three two prof professors they have invented this uh, weka tool for data analysis purpose apache spark machine learning library rapid miner h2o shogun nine or rx2 apache mahot pytorch tensor flow keras these are the machine learning algorithm tools advantages like easily identify trends and patterns first advantage no human intervention based continuous improvement handling multi dimensional and multivariate data wide applications fisi disadvantages like high error susceptibility data acquisition time and records so if you see disadvantages like interpretation of results time and uh, results resources 
So these are the applications of uh, machine learning applications, image and speech recognition, classification, medical diagnosis, prediction, statistical arbitrage, extraction, learning associations, regression. So these are the various applications of algorithm, machine learning algorithm, automatic language translation, medical diagnosis, stock market trading, online fraud detection, virtual personal assistant, email spam and malware filtering, self-driving cars, product recommendations, traffic predictions, speech recognition, image recognition. So these are the various formulas we are using in the machine learning, like Navbase, Perceptron, Linear Regression, K-Means algorithm, Neural Networks, Principal Component Analysis, Support Vector Machines, and Back Propagation, and Logistic Regression, Gradient Data Set. Gradient Descent is one of the deep learning technique. So major challenges faced by machine learning, like poor quality of data, underfitting of training data, overfitting of training data, and uh, lack of training data, imperfections in the algorithm when data grows. If you see challenges, insufficient data, difficult in future, and uh, poor, uh, poor general, poor generality of the algorithm, poor model interpretability, these are the challenges. Still R&D is ongoing, high degree of research specialization, insufficient data. These are the various uh, uh, major challenges of data science. Then uh, machine learning code libraries, see here Python libraries for machine learning the year 2021 you can add a 2023 now numpy scipy scikit-learn theano tensorflow keras by torch pandas why python for mlc here more flexibility visualization ability Next, um, code simplicity and platform independence, better libraries, larger community. These are the reasons why we are using Python for machine learning. Top machine learning algorithms predictions. See, linear regression type. The best fit line through all data points. Easy to understand. You can delay. See what the biggest drivers of the model are. Disadvantages, sometimes be simple. And uh, logistic regression, the adoption for linear regression to problems for a classification. If you see decision tree, it is a classification technique, a graph that uses breaching method to mission much match all possible outcomes of a decision. Easy to understand and implement, not often used of the best own pro progression. And uh, if you see this top 10 algorithms, random forest, gradient boosting, neural networks. 10 plus most popular machine learning software tools and comparison chart. See, scikit-learn. You can run platform like Linux, Mac OS, Windows, cost-free. Written in language, Python, 
Saita C C plus plus algorithms for features classification regression clustering preprocessing model selection dimensional reduction etc. PyTorch you can run Linux Mac OS free Python C plus plus Coda and uh, TensorFlow. It uses Linux, Mac, OS platforms, free Python, C++ Coda, provides a library for data flow programming. Veka, it can run Linux, Mac, OS, Windows, free Java, data preparation, classification, regression, clustering and visualization. And Veka, it is a free and uh, written in language Java. Uh, algorithms features are uh, data preparation, classification, regression, clustering, visualization, association rule mining. If you see NIME, NIME is a tool, it can run Linux, Mac OS, Windows, cost is free, written, written in language Java, algorithms can work with large data volume, support text mining and image mining through plugins. Cloud services free, supports libraries of PyTorch, Keras, TensorFlow and OpenCV. Cross-platform free, Java and Scala. Pre-processing, regression, clustering, recommendation, distributed linear algebra. And Apache Mahot cross platform free Java Scala preparation. I mean, uh, pre processing, regression, clustering, recommenders, distributed linear algebra. Across net, cross platform free and C sharp. So, classification, regression, distribution, clustering, hyperthesis test. Then the last comparison title, Shogun. Shogun is a tool, machine learning tool, Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS, free C++, written in which language? C++. Algorithms like regression, classification, clustering, support vector machine, dimensional reduction, Then uh, Keras, if you see, uh, Keras cross-platform free Python API for neural networks, rapid miner cross-platform. The cost is free plan, free, it uh, written in language Java, data loading and transformation, data pre-processing and visualization. So top five algorithms of machine learning I'm going to demonstrate now. After that, we'll start uh, image classification, uh, especially COVID-19, COVID strain and Omicron. And uh, recently I'm collecting the data on BF, BF7. So logistic regression, decision tree, support vector machines, naive base, K nearest neighbor. We see logistic regression. It is a one of the statistical method. In this method, it uses logistic function to model a binary dependent variable, although many more complex extensions exist. It is estimating the parameters of logistic model, a form of binary regression. Logistic regression means the relationship between the categorical dependent variable and, uh, and are more independent variables by estimating probabilities using logistic function, which is the cumulative distribution function by of logistic distribution. Linear regression, logistic regression, see. Input values x1, x2, x3, x4, that is called inputs of x, linear model, probabilities, sigmoid function, 
values between 0 and 1. So this is the logistic regression algorithm. See, I am going to demonstrate. So you can download from the internet. Uh, see, command prompt, go to command prompt, CLS. So go to website URL, see here. Google. You can uh, see Python software. You can download Python software. Go to this URL. See, go to download Python Python 3.11.1. See, now it is downloading. So now, see all of you, I'm going to install Python 3.5. Now you have downloaded from the internet. Now double click. So in the icon, you can select the add path. path. There is a symbol I have already installed. That's why it is not showing. You can add these things while installing. OK, now it is installing. Please see. Now, now see, uh, I'm, uh, see it is installing now. If anyone don't know, no problem. Python, see, I'm installing Python within one minute. You can run this Python, see, almost all done. So, latest version modified was successful. Now you can check uh, whether uh, the software is installed success or not. See here, uh, go to run command here. See Python, type Python, you will get 3.11.1. So one small program I'm going to show you. Likewise, you can execute many programs, okay? Suppose write a Python program write a python program to perform addition of two numbers using static input very simple okay. some a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4 c is equal to a plus b now see the c value so same program using dynamic input now see, I'm using dynamic input, small program. Then uh, I will show you big programs, dynamic program, dynamic input. So that is a static, static program, write a Python program to perform addition of two numbers using static input. To write a Python program to perform addition of two numbers using dynamic input. Same program, int of, input of, Enter value of A, enter value of A. Now I am reading the value. Next B value. Now B value is 4. Now same thing. C is equal to A plus B. Okay. B is equal to A minus B. B is equal to A star B. And F is equal to A division by B. G is equal to A percentile B. Now check the values. My screen is visible. Please see here. Check the C. Yeah. See the C value. 
then d value subtraction multiplication division and modulo division so now same programs i am executing uh, this is a python can be executed in two ways one is uh, ideally integration development learning environment and the second one is um, scripting way now i am going to show you scripting way same programs then now uh, i'll i'll execute uh, machine learning algorithms so cls clear screen same programs notepad is so with ap dot py small program okay i am creating small program by using python so i am using one second yeah now see my screen is visible you can write a multi line comment like uh, name okay dr asadi dr asadi srinivas lu then uh, mobile number 96422 Six double zero six zero. Okay, then uh, aim of the program just aim. I am explaining. Write a Python program. To perform arithmetic operations. Now I am closing the. Simple codes. Now I am using a is equal to int of input of a and uh, enter value of a. And b is equal to int of input of enter value of B. Now same thing. A is equal to a plus b. B is equal to a minus b. E is equal to a star b. F is equal to a division by b. G is equal to a percentile b. Then a print addition is equal to. Addition is equal to comma c output variable print. Then uh, subtraction is equal to b. Then print multiplication e. then division f print my screen is visible yes sir okay yes sir so in this one so G, G output value. After completion of this program, save, save, uh, 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 control S. Then go to my file name is with a Python space with ap dot py. See now my program is asking enter value of a just three, enter value of b four. now it is displaying addition subtraction multiplication division modulo division etc now now i am going to explain machine learning algorithms see here now you are ready with the python programming see what i am using uh, top top five algorithms i am going to execute now logistic regression it is a based on the past values we are predicting the future values Uh, import matplotlib pyplot as plt 
import numpy as np it's a numpy library matplotlib library library from sklearn so sklearn is a library from there i am directly taking linear model import logistic regression and uh, logistic regression from sklearn matrix import classification report and confusion matrix in order to check the accuracy of the uh, problem import matplotlib.py plot as plt i am taking x value and y value x values between minus 1 to 1 and y value 0 or 1 print x and print y then uh, i am calculating model is equal to logistic regression of uh, solver equal to linear lib linear comma random state 0 model dot fix model dot fit of x comma y logistic regression like i am using all the parameters then model logistic regression say comment section this one okay you can use this as a model okay now see same program I am executing Python space logistic.py. So now it is going to execute. See, now I got the output and result. It is generated graph based on x and y values, generated predicted classes 0, 1. 0 means uh, false, one means true, one, zero means uh, zero means negative, or, or you can call it as positive, positive, one means negative, intercept value, quotient value, predicted value, etc. So that is a logistic regression. Next algorithm is, see this is output I am executed, then decision tree. It is also one of the data science and machine learning algorithm. It is a, just like a flowchart like tree structure where each internal node denotes as a test on an attribute which branch, each branch represents an outcome of the test and each leaf node holds a class label. Decision tree, induction is developed by Ross Quinlan. Decision tree, algorithm known as ID tree iterative diatomizer. So decision tree is classification in the form of a tree structure, decision node, leaf node, or path, etc. So these are the decision tree consists of decision tree induction, attribute selection measures, information gain, gain ratio, guinea index, tree pruning, scalability, and decision tree induction. So this is the data set I have taken. And this is the decision tree I have constructed for this data, decision tree. So based on the age, we are classifying into three groups, student group, middle-aged groups, credit card rating, youth, okay, middle-aged and senior. Then a student is able to purchase computer or not, yes or no. Credit rating is fair or excellent based on the no and yes. So this is a decision tree classification using Python. Okay. I have executed this algorithm. This is the output. I got it. Decision tree algorithm. I am going to give you these things uh, to you so that uh, you can execute. Then support vector machine. It is also one of the classification technique. There are supervised learning models. Okay. So based on the hyperplane, we are classifying the data. Okay. Then this is the algorithm I have taken. And uh, I'm going to show you demonstrate this one. See here. CLS, Python space. Support vector machine. 
so this is a support vector machine okay so see here i got accuracy i have taken a 61 samples of the data 67 61 images i have taken and uh, i am going to classify these images are positive images or negative images so 35 images are uh, uh, positive images and 26 images are negative images and total 61 images just for sample testing i have taken accuracy i got uh, 50% precision 0.45 recall 0.80 so likewise we are classifying by using support vector machine then uh, naive bayes technique it is also one of the classification or a collection of classification algorithms and uh, theorem uh, it is not a single algorithm but a family of algorithms where all of them share a common principle that is every pair of feature being classified is independent of each other there are seven steps are follows start separate uh, by class summarize data set summarize data by class gaussian probability density function class probabilities stop etc so this is the formula we are using naive bayes classification p of p of a by b equal to p of p by a into p of a and uh, by p of b using bayesian probability terminology the above equation can be written as posterior is equal to prior multiplied by likelihood evidence so this is the formula we are using likelihood of the evidence given in that the hypothesis is true that is p of e by h multiplied by p of h prior probability of the hypothesis and uh, prior probability that the evidence is true posterior probability of the hypothesis is given the evidence is true so this is the data set i have taken sql naive bayes classifier python gaussian naive bayes scikit learn etc naive bayes technique this is the code using python see i am going to demonstrate now naive bayes classification cls clear screen python space naive bayes see so if you see notepad space naive base so if you want to open this program you can open naive base on the iris data set this is the code for a python i am going to share with you so that you can execute so this is called naive base classification then the last one here support vector mission for heart disease uh, patient data set prediction heart disease nowadays because of covid or any reasons i don't know so many heart attacks are happening at least uh, you can uh, find a solution for a heart attack before uh, uh, before getting heart attack you can check the symptoms of the uh, uh, heart attack uh, images you can collect and uh, you can train as a model by using this support vector machine and we are using uh, various parameters fine tuning parameters in order to classify the support vector machine this is the data set i have taken heart disease data data heart disease data set okay so you can you can take as input to the and the heart heart disease data set okay so then uh, you can execute this algorithm by using classification clustering algorithm 
SVM2 I have used C. CLS Python space. Let me check SVM1 is not working. Yeah, it is also working. So SVM2 Python space support vector machine for a heart patient data set. Okay, so this is the output I got it for by using a support vector machine. Next, next uh, fifth one is last one. Uh, then I will start image classification using deep learning and machine learning. K nearest neighbor, K means assumption, number of clusters or classes is a very simple, easy to understand and KNN algorithm used for both classification and regression. KNN algorithm based on a feature similarity approach. And uh, if you see the diagram, beginning of the K is equal to one for KNN. Algorithm steps like the start, calculate distance, find closest neighbors, vote for labels, stop, etc. And these are the KNN algorithm steps, initial data, calculate distance, finding neighbors and uh, voting for labels, class A or class B. So this, this is the steps we are following classifier building in scikit-learn using KNN. So steps are 15 steps, start KNN classifier, defining data set, encoding data columns, combining features, generating model, KNN with multiple labels, loading data, exploring data, Let's check records of the target set, splitting data, generating model for K is equal to five, model evaluation for K equal to five, regenerating model for K, model evaluation for K equal to seven. Now see that this is the algorithm using Python, K, K nearest neighbor technique using Python. So K and then Python model, I'm going to demonstrate this one. Please see. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate. So Python space knn dot py k nearest neighbor algorithm. See, I got the results. Uh, Sixty-eight point. Uh, in order to increase uh, the accuracy, you can do the fine fine tuning parameters. You need to perform very well. So this, these are the top 10, five algorithms I have executed right now. Now I'm moving to uh, image classification. Okay, uh, my dear friends, any doubts? Please respond. Any doubts for execution of Python program? No, sir. No doubts? If I, if I provide you my PPT, can you execute your own? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. Uh, and uh, my dear friends, if you have mobile, please subscribe my channel. Uh, uh, nearly uh, 40 to 50 participants are there. Uh, just go to YouTube. Please take your mobile. At least uh, you do a favor for me. Whenever you find a time, you can uh, listen my videos. I have, uh, um, uh, I have uploaded nearly 100 videos of various latest technologies. For please go to uh, YouTube, just type YouTube in Google if you are in the system or if you are in the mobile, just type Dr. Asadi, Dr. Asadi Srinivasulu. Please type all of you, my dear friends. Only two subscribed right now. Uh, just type my name and uh, take mobile and uh, please type my name, Dr. Asadi Srinivasulu. Uh, then click my channel. Okay. Okay. There are various videos I have incorporated. See here, number of videos. Can you find, see, various uh, latest technologies. 
and cyber security, big data, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, virtual reality, and Python programming. Various videos I have incorporated and data science applications. That is my core area, data science applications using machine learning and deep learning. So these are uh, 100 videos I have, uh, uh, I have created with a channel. If you are finding time, please listen and write comments on the video. Okay. So these are my videos. So now, how many participants subscribed? Only three right now. Please do it favor for me. So now next we are only three, three participants. If you are mobile phone, please do subscribe my channel. Asadi Srinivasalu. Type and subscribe. We'll go to next topic. Image classification using deep learning techniques. So I think everybody knows deep learning. So deep learning is an extension of machine learning. It is a support of machine learning. Machine learning is a support of artificial intelligence. Learning can be a supervised, semi-supervised, or unsupervised. Deep learning gets its name from the fact that it involves going to deep into several layers of network, which also includes hidden layers. Okay. And uh, which companies are using deep learning? See, DeepMind, reinforcement learning, they are using open AI, they are using transformers. Facebook, they are using self-supervised learning. Google, they are using auto ML. Apple, they are using federated learning. Microsoft, they are using machine teaching. Amazon, they are using transfer learning. IBM, they are using quantum machine learning. Okay, keep in mind why I'm explaining very, very important. What it is, how it is done. See in computer science, the study of computation and computer technology, hardware and software. What is meant by machine learning? Algorithms that can, that can make predictions through pattern recognition. Deep learning, a form of machine learning that uses a computing model inspired by the structure of the brain, which requires less human supervision. How it is done? The brains of AI, deep learning algorithms called neural networks, open source technology, large data sets, labeled data, engineering experts, specialized hardware. So deep learning industries, AI now for every industry, there is an agriculture, health, health, healthcare, financial services, insurance, manufacturing, retail, recycling, etc. So machine learning use cases like finance, healthcare, media, retail, etc. So what is meant by deep learning? Learning from the observational data with a deep manner, huge number of input and uh, hidden layers. That is called deep learning. See, what is deep learning here? So if you are taking car as an input, it is extracting features and doing classification. It is identifying car or not. That is called a classification technique. If you see artificial intelligence is a intelligent behavior in a machine. The science and engineering to develop various applications, intelligent applications. Machine learning is a subfield of a subset of AI. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning. Deep learning uses neural networks to simulate human-like decision-making. So this is a small history. Artificial intelligence is nothing but engineering of making intelligent machines and programs. 1950s it came. Ability to learn without being explicitly programmed is called machine learning. In the year 1980s it came. 
deep learning learning based on deep neural network 2010s then uh, who invented deep learning in the mid 1960s soviet mathematician alexey ivanko created small functional net neural networks which is considered the first series deep learning breakthrough deep learning is an ai function that mimics the working of the human brain in processing data for using in detecting objects recognizing speech translating languages and making decisions the ability to process large number of features makes deep learning very powerful when dealing with the especially unstructured data enabling machines to think like humans that is called artificial intelligence training machines to get or, to get better at a task without explicitly programming is called machine learning using multi layered networks for machine learning it's called deep learning why use deep learning see how how do data science techniques scale with the amount of data so deep learning requires larger training data sets if you take x axis amounts of data y axis performance it is in older training algorithm older training algorithms and nowadays deep learning algorithms so deep learning is a sub field of machine learning concerned with algorithms inspired by the structure and the function of the brain called artificial neural networks and while traditional machine learning algorithms are linear deep learning algorithms are stacked in a hierarchy of increasing complexity and abstraction curse of dimensionality means the data is a complex the curse of dimensionality first introduced by bellman indicates that the number of samples needed to estimate an arbitrary function with a given level of accuracy grows exponentially with respect to the number of input variables means dimensions of the function if you increase number of uh, columns number of attributes records the data becomes complex that is called the curse of dimensionality refers to various phenomena that arise when analyzing and organizing data in a high dimensional spaces that do not occur in low dimensional settings such as the three dimensional physical space of everyday experience this example i have already explained for reinforcement learning based on the punishment and reward river punishment and reward we are solving the problem is called reinforcement learning deep learning process uses five steps understands the problem and whether deep learning is a good fit or not identifies relevant data sets and send prepare them for analysis chooses the type of deep learning algorithm to use trains algorithm and large amounts of labeled data test the models performance against unlabeled data deep learning model life cycle data and labels references we are using as a model create update model train and testing model evaluate model if uh, it uh, gives very less accuracy then go for uh, if repeat then uh, serve model this is deep learning uh, modeling life cycle deep learning pipeline first we are taking as input and uh, Uh, data set through these distributed and storage streaming data with help of hdfs google cloud storage okay sandra kafka then users data preparation and analysis using the jupiter hub apache zeppelin spark framework and cluster deep learning tools and distributed hosting uses tensorflow pytorch etc models building machine learning models model serving sending model to clients these are the machine learning deep learning tools machine learning programming languages like python r 
machine learning tools like tensorflow and sklearn weka deep learning tools like keras pytorch analytical tools like spark hadoop visualization tools like matplotlib cborn jupyter etc see the difference between machine learning and deep learning machine learning uh, classifies the data but it is not describing all the features see the diagram input as taking to the machine learning then feature extraction classification but you are getting it is a car or not whereas in deep learning if you see deep learning concept you are using same car as input to the system but uh, here we are increasing number of input and uh, hidden layers uh, feature extraction plus classification finally we are getting output like car the car color model price etc these are the additional features we are extracting from through deep learning techniques so deep learning versus machine learning if you see the examples factors data requirement in deep learning requires large data whereas machine learning can train on lesser data accuracy provides high accuracy in deep learning gives lesser accuracy in machine learning training time takes longer to train takes less time to train hardware dependency requires gpu to train properly trains on cpu central processing unit hyper parameter tuning can be tuned in various uh, different ways limited tuning capabilities so these are the parameters i have explained and uh, perceptions perceptrons you can call it as it is an algorithm for supervised learning of binary classifiers so it is a type of linear classifier classification algorithm that makes its predictions based on a linear predictor function combining set of weights with the factor value what is meant by learning the learning rate controls how quickly the model is adapted to the problem see the batch size is a number of samples processed before the model is updated batch size is a hyper parameter of gradient descent that controls the number of tuning samples to work through before the models in international parameters are updated the number of epochs is a hyper parameter of gradient descent that controls the number of complete passes through the training data set activation function the activation function of a node defines the output of the node given an input or set of inputs single layer perceptron slp is a feed forward neural network based on a threshold transfer function slp single layer perceptron is the simplest type of artificial neural networks and can only classify linearly separable classes with a binary target 1 comma 0 we see limitations of single layer perceptron the reason the reason is because the classifier in xor are not uh, linearly separable you cannot draw a straight line to separate the points 0,0 1,1 from the point 0,1 1,0 led to invention of multi layer networks importance of multi layer perceptron multi layer network solve the classification problem for non linear sets by employing hidden layers so whose neurons are on are not directly connected to the output so multi layer perceptrons are useful in research for their ability to solve problems sophist stochastically which often allows approximate solution for extremely <coughs> <coughs> sorry extremely complex problems like fitness approximation mlp uses back propagation as a supervised learning technique since there are multiple layers of neurons 
MLP is a deep learning technique. MLP is widely used for solving problems that require supervised learning as well as a research into computational neuroscience and parallel distributed processing. Pre-activation. Presented by A, it is a A weighted sum of input plus the bias. Activation represented by H, activation function is non-linear function. Activation function is an, uh, an activation function is a function that is added in a in an artificial neural network in order to help the network learn complex patterns in the data. When comparing with a neuron based model that is in our brain, the activation function is at the end. Uh, end deciding what is to be fired to the next neuron. Back propagation is an algorithm used to calculate de derivatives quickly. ANN use background as a learning algorithm to compute a gradient descent with the respective weights. Next, the algorithm gets its name because the weights are updated backward from output towards input. Gradient descent is a first order initiative optimization algorithm for finding a, lo a local minimum of differentiable function. Gradient descent C is an optimization algorithm for finding a local minimum of differentiable function. Gradient descent is simply, you can call it as, okay, because of internet. So, functions parameters, that is coefficient that minimizes a cost function as far as possible. If you see the diagram, learning to learn gradient descent by gradient descent, x-axis weight, y-axis cost, and a derivative of cost, you can call it as initial weight, and uh, incremental step gradient descent. See, what are the use cases of deep learning? Deep learning use cases, who are the using in the worldwide? Use for knowledge discovery and predictive analytics. You can use, say example, Google uses deep learning to build powerful voice and uh, image recognition algorithms. Netflix and Amazon use deep learning in their recommendation engines and MIT researchers uses deep learning for predictive analytics. Now see in the diagram, especially deep learning industries, agriculture, healthcare, financial services, insurance, manufacture, retail industry, recycling. These are the deep learning use cases, especially uh, face unlock in smartphones, selfie filters, networking, cap booking, hey Siri, Google, personalized marketing, Gmail spam alert, Play Store recommendation, online food delivery portals, etc. So this is a deep learning process. Input layer 1, L1, hidden layer L2, hidden layer L3, hidden layer L4, Output layer L5. You may get doubts, sir, how many we can use input layers and hidden layers? As many as required for your problem in order to get the good results, you can use. And W stands for weight. X12, X3, and so on, followed by the XP. These are the input layers. Then hidden layers L2, hidden layers L3, hidden layer L4. Final output with the red color, L5, Y0 to Y1 and so on, Y9. So this is a deep learning process. If you see deep learning workflow, lots of labeled data or unlabeled data you are taking as input to the system. Training set under validation test. Training set, learn deep neural network. Validation step for validating the data. Then pre-processing of the data set, adjust parameters, network, architecture, etc.
fisi deep learning process i am taking in the year 1990s how this uh, neural networks works and uh, nowadays deep learning neural networks how it is working if you see number of nodes is nothing but uh, uh, neurons here it links carry signals from one node to another boosting or damping them according to each link's weight whereas a deep learning neural network so we are taking as a input layer and uh, identify light dark pixel value see i am taking one scientist uh, image as input to the system it is uh, first level uh, input layer takes the data it divides into number of pixels that is called identify edges then identify combinations of edges identify features then identify com combinations or features then output layer it gives oh e is a george that is the learning deep learning process there are three important algorithms deep neural networks convolutional neural networks recurrent neural networks providing a lift for classification and forecasting models feature extraction and classification images by using a convolutional neural networks and for sequence of events language models time series data we are using recurrent neural networks so deep learning models are two types supervised models and unsupervised models supervised models are convolution convolutional neural networks classic neural networks and recurrent neural networks unsupervised learning self organizing maps boltzmann machines auto encoders so dnn can perform classification deep neural network prediction and the time series prediction whereas cnn can perform three prediction and time series prediction computer recognition and vision and classification rnn and lstm recurrent neural network long short term memory it uses prediction and time series prediction and classification this means cnn gives you complete uh, image classification especially deep learning methods like cnn based methods rbm based methods and auto encoder based methods sparse coding methods cnn based methods select snet clarify 52 6 means layers spp 26 layers vgg 31 google net 20 then rbm based methods deep belief networks deep boltzmann machines deep energy models auto encoder based methods sparse encoder denoising encoder contractive encoder sparse coding based methods sparse coding spm laplacian sparse coding local coordinate coding super vector coding so these are the mathematical formulas we are using multiply rule power rule sum rule differential rule product rule quotient rule so these are the four models i have explained so convolutional neural network is a type of artificial neural network especially used in uh, image uh, classification image recognition and uh, face recognition biometric image uh, applications and the processing that is specifically designed to process pixel data then rnn or type of neural network where the output from the previous step is fed as input to the current step rnns are mainly used for sequence classification sentiment classification and video classification sequence labeling part of speech and named entity recognition lstm long short term memory it is an artificial recurrent neural network architecture used in the field of deep learning lstm networks are well suited to classifying processing and making predictions based on times series data since there can be lacks of 
unknown duration between important events in a time series gyan generative adversarial network especially we are using gans in uh, how your face changes over the period in childhood days how you are, how you are uh, looking after 5 years how you are looking after 15 years how you are looking how your face changes over the period such type of applications we are developing with help of gyan generative adversarial networks very 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 important it is a machine learning model in which two neural networks compete with each other to become more accurate in their predictions gans typically run unsupervised and use cooperative zero sum game framework to learn so these are the top 10 uh, deep learning tools we are using tensor flow i have already described about tensor flow it is a deep learning concept tool one of the best frameworks tensor flow is used for natural language processing text classification and summarization speech recognition and translation and more microsoft cognitive toolkit most effective for image speech and text based data mctk supports both ecnn both cnn and rnn cafe one of the deep learning tools built for scale and cafe helps machines to track speed modularity and expense expression then chainer keras deep learning for j keras is a framework that can work both on cnn and rnn keras is a popular choice for many and deep learning for j it is also one of the popular choice deep learning code libraries like tensor flow pytorch apache maxnet see here we are using neon deep learning 4j ml.net deep man deep mat theano microsoft cntk next why this python is so popular because of rich number of libraries are presented especially tensor flow keras pytorch theano we are using and uh, that's why it is so popular so what are the applications of deep learning we are using uh, instant visual translation predicting the future values chatbot applications medical care applications self driving cars read lip movements colorizing the images photo descriptions deep learning deep dreaming and advertising so these are the latest best application that use deep learning especially autonomous vehicles now even google microsoft ibm they have started to perform autonomous vehicles tesla for vmo already in the trial period scheme already into the market poly b rnn noise grammarly perlimut perlimut matter meridian neurela brain juro eyes wave net six sense robi ai so these are the top 10 fascinating applications if you see self driving cars we are using deep learning concept atana automatic handwriting generation pixel restoration and colorization of black and white uh, images deep 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 dreaming detection of growth delays in children demographic prediction sound addiction to silent films news aggregation automatic mission translation so these are few more applications these are the applications i have explained and the most useful deep learning tools like uh, neural designer h2o deep learning kit microsoft cognitive toolkit keras convol i mean convolnet js torch
these are the top 10s open source deep learning tools anomaly fraud detection in transaction lstm automatic image capture caption recognition but generation cnn speech impaired users get voice rs fmri autism spectrum disorder in kids google assistant voice or keyboard voice and keyboard virtual machine learning fin based wheel identification so these are the top 10 tools i have uh, uh, tensor flow it is developed by c one of the company called tensor flow dot organization open source deep learning framework for the development of machine learning and deep learning models founded on november 9 2015 then keras okay then pytorch open nn microsoft one cnpk microsoft cognitive toolkit Ap apache mac data mining kit and uh, deep learning 4j and uh, darknet played ml so these are the libraries now i am going to do practical sessions on the image classification using machine and deep learning algorithms what are the challenges of deep learning see here learning without supervision is it is a challenge coping with data from outside the training distribution it is a challenge incorporating logic it is a challenge of deep learning unsupervised and self supervised learning it is a deep learning challenge auto encoders it is a challenge to overcome these challenges we are using a combination of frameworks like keras tensor flow pytorch tiano matplotlib sk learn scikit learn various libraries we are using in order to uh, avoid these challenges then deep learning challenges like high performance hardware requirements issues with flexibility and multitasking data availability non optimizing hyper parameters data security these are the deep learning code libraries numpy scipy scikit learn tiano tensor flow keras pytorch pandas etc etc python libraries and frameworks machine learning see here numpy uh, what are the libraries we are using for machine learning numpy tensor flow tiano pandas pytorch keras scikit learn matplotlib scipy cbarn then web development tools django flask bottle cherry pie pyramid web 2 py turbo gears cubic web dash falca automation testing py unit behave splinter robot pi test etc image processing we are using open cv mahot mahotas pz magic simple tk scikit image game development pandas 3d pi game pi open gl pi clex rk web scraping lxml and a request selenium scrape a beautiful soap these are the tools numpy scipy pandas scikit learn tiano tensor flow keras pytorch cbarn matplotlib and uh, these algorithms knn have executed now now healthcare application especially our core topic uh, digital images okay so healthcare is the maintenance or improvement of health via the prevention diagnosis treatment or amelioration or curse of disease illness injury 
and other physical and mental impairments in people health care is delivered by health professionals and allied health fields efforts made to maintain or restore physical mental or emotional well being especially by trained and licensed professionals these are the seven image database applications i am going to demonstrate now covid 19 virus prediction and detection omicron virus prediction and detection using machine learning and deep learning ebola virus prediction and detection uh, i have taken x ray and ct scan images for all these seven uh, image database applications prostate cancer prediction and detection breast cancer prediction and detection lung cancer prediction and detection monkey pox virus prediction and detection so 10 healthcare application that you can build without coding like an online patient portal disease management patient condition reporting health and wellness management diagnostic reporting inventory management research and development databases digital transformation and productivity knowledge base system and laboratory management so now i am going to explain image uh, image database application especially covid 19 virus corona virus is an infectious disease caused by newly discovered corona virus corona covid 19 is caused by a corona virus called sars cov2 severe acute respiratory syndrome covid 19 is a disease caused by new strain of corona virus cvo stands for corona v is for virus and d for disease formerly this disease was referred to as 2019 novel corona virus that's why it is called covid 19 these are the symptoms of covid 19 fever cough shortness of breath or difficulty breathing chills muscle pain headache sore throat new loss of taste congestion or runny nose nausea or vomiting diarrhea so these are the clinical and image features of covid 19 patients data set i have taken nearly 850 images i have taken x ray images then i have applied convolutional neural network step 1 convolution operation what is the meaning of convolution it refers to the combination of two functions to produce third function to produce third function you can call it as third function and uh, see next convolutional uh, relu layer so relu layer rectified linear unit that is a, a rectified linear unit it is activation function to compute and the predictable gradient back propagation of the error it increases the linearity function in the context of convolutional neural networks pooling it reduces the spatial size of spatial size of representation and to reduce the amount of parameters and also computation in the network there are two types of max pooling and min pooling or average pooling flattening it is converting data into one dimensional array for inputting to the next layer it will flatten the output of the conventional layer to create a single long feature vector step 4 it is to take reserveful connection is to take the results of convolutional or pooling process and use them to classify the image onto a label so these are the four steps we are following precisely convolution operation pooling flattening full connection so these are the steps i am following covid 19 image classification using feature extracted by transfer learning in keras and tensor flow we see problem definition data preparation feature engineering training ml algorithm testing trained model model deployment etc this is the input i have taken normal image 
COVID-19 image, pneumonia image. I'm giving input to the system. System has to recognize which image is, whether it is COVID-19 or pneumonia or normal. By using exception network and ResNet 50, parallel deep feature extraction, we are using con concatenated features. And finally, we are uh, predicting normal or COVID or pneumonia. This is the Corona virus training data set to the CNN model. These are the X-ray images I have taken as input to the system. These are the steps I have used for CNN model. Step one, import the required libraries. Step two, Import the training data set, perform the feature scaling to transform the data, create a data structure with 60 time steps and one output, import Keras library and its packages, visualize the ECNN, add the LSTM layers and some dropout generation. And compile the ECNN fit the ECNN to be the training set, load the COVID-19 test images data from 2022, get the predicted COVID-19 for 2020, visualize the results of predicted and result. So this is the code I have used for convolutional neural networks. Import the sequential model analysis. Okay. Then uh, training augmentation configuration. Testing augmentation only, rescaling, generates batches of augmented image data, generator for validation data, evaluating model performance on testing data, corona testing data to the CNN model. Okay. And uh, this is the chest x ray of COVID 19 virus and severity levels of the images. And these, these are the number of epochs with accuracy and I got it. See, execution flow of COVID-19 data set. Data loss versus accuracy. Then uh, uh, execution time between COVID-19 virus data set versus number of processes. This is a COVID-19 data size versus accuracy. I, I'm going to demonstrate now. C. Any doubt? CLS. Go to COVID-19. COVID Check the folder. How many images are there? See, CNN file is there. COVID-19 test images. COVID-19 strain images. Training part, testing part. Then we are executing this uh, CNN model. So Python space cnn.py. So we need to install pip install tensorflow. It is asking how to install the tensorflow. This is the way we can install. Now it is installing. So it is saying that this version is not suitable. So what I will do, uh, cd space I'll go to another folder. Our users are uh, one second. So this PC, C colon. Okay. So What is the file name? So like this, you can execute. Okay. So one second, I'm closing this one. You can go to here. 
so in this uh, folder covid 19 cnn model see here covid uh, train images positive negative these are the images positive images then uh, i'm executing this model this is the path that you can give it cls yeah now see uh directly you can check sorry please check so cnn we have model so python space cnn dot py so pip install again it is showing same error tensor flow i need to install this one it is a latest version i am using so pip install so could not find a version that satisfy the required tensor flow so we need to know, we need to install the uh, 3.9.5 in that version it is supporting okay so next uh, uh, in that version i have executed covid 19 folder and uh, covid 19 string it is a variant of covid 19 the symptoms are uh, same symptoms and extra some features like uh, nausea vomiting diarrhea etc so these are the extra features of uh, covid 19 uh, variant then uh, covid 19 strain input data set to the cnn model these are the images i have collected covid 19 strain training data set to the cnn model this is the rnn algorithm import covid 19 data training parameters network parameters graph input tensor flow then define weights and uh, these are the steps we are following for execution of uh, uh, covid 19 strain virus severity levels of the images so then prostate cancer detection i have collected a uh, various prostate cancer images like uh, uh, see symptoms of prostate cancer develop as the condition progress the main symptoms like a cough that doesn't go away after 2 or 3 weeks a long standing cough that gets worse these are the symptoms these are the images i have collected prostate cancer input data set to the cnn model so this is the training data set i have collected and x ray of prostate cancer of normal image this is the classification of prostate cancer next breast cancer so breast cancer images and symptoms of the breast cancer these are the images i have collected from various data sets in various places uh like kaggle github and uh, uci repositories we are collecting the uh, various images of the breast cancer then this is the training data set we are using and uh, x ray breast cancer versus normal image we are doing a, a classification then this is the data set we are using this is the program cnn python model we are using Okay. and breast cancer final execution is cnn model we got very good results then lung cancer prediction so here also we are taking various uh, images see here lung cancer input image data sets we are uh, taking with various features and uh, this is a training data set for cnn model and x ray of lung cancer versus normal image okay 
and uh, ebola virus prediction it is also one of the uh, deadly disease most commonly affecting people and uh, non human uh, uh, primates ebola virus is a deadly disease with occasional outbreaks that occur primarily on the african continent these are the symptoms of the ebola virus c ebola virus symptoms headache heat abdominal pain sore throat rash loss of appetite vomiting bleeding etc then these are the symptoms of ebola virus fever muscle pain vomiting abdominal diarrhea okay and an explained hemorrhage bleeding or bruising ebola virus images i have collected from the uh, very big repositories like uci cancer github okay and uh, this is the rnn recurrent neural network i am used for ebola virus detection and uh, see training parameters network parameters this is the algorithm and i got a very good uh, results for this one x ray of ebola virus versus normal image so finally i'm 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 concluding this uh, uh theory theory part after that we'll see some practicals so nine total 960 images i have taken we have found 149 covid 19 uh, covid 19 positive cases and the remaining 230 pneumonia positive and 250 for normal and negative etc and um, so this is the uh, Uh, thus we conclude that in this model achieved an average accuracy of 89.62 and 19 1.54 sensitivity and covid 19 class with an overall accuracy of 88.4 between two positive folds so with this one uh, theory part i am concluding see what are the various uh, fdp seminars i have conducted so far in the world wide so uh, this is at uh, thailand and uh, this is at singapore i have conducted and uh, acted as a keynote speaker this is at uh, uh, philippines this is at keynote speaker one of the engineering college this is at um, mits madanapalli this is at uh, sri vidyaniketan engineering college this is a jury member at uh, mits madanapalli this is keynote speaker at uh, one of the engineering college doctorate degree from uh, jnt ananthapur bharat vidyaratan award from delhi and uh, itap best it teacher award at hyderabad and uh, Uh, this is best local chapter award from iit madras okay and uh, this is at international seminar at salem this is one of the uh, engineering colleges at uh, gautami instead of uh, I acted as a resource person then resource person at uh, iiser indian institute of science education and research tirupati sangam university i have explained big data analytics using spark and abs engineering college as a, a keynote speaker for big data analytics with using spark jaya engineering college one of the resource person big data analytics using spark and uh, maharshi markandeya university topic uh, you can big data analytics using uh, spark data science at the research talk at blue crest university it is at oman big data analytics using spark data science applications hands on this is at russia school of young scientist covid 19 virus strain virus detection udal federal federal university blue crest university today symposium big data applications 
This is at the Ural Federal, Federal, Ural Federal University at Russia. This is data science application practicals at Bluecrest. This is at the Bharti Das Bharti Bharti Yari University Coimbatore. This is Lord's Institute of Technology, data science using R programming. Neva University, Karpaga Vinayaka College of Engineering, Vijnan Bharati, and uh, Blue Crest University in West Africa. Forty-nine universities. Uh, Sir, you are not audible. You are on mute. Sir, please sir, unmute you your on device. Mute. You are not audible, sir. You are on yes. mute, sir. So these are the various uh, uh, webinars I have conducted all over, all over the world. It is at Oman. This is at uh, Wet Institute, and this is at uh, one of the engineering college, Babu Rao Ganpat Rao, at Maharashtra. This is SSN Engineering College, Marshi Markandeya, and uh, this is at Bansal Engineering College. college and uh, my screen is visible my screen is visible okay yes, sir. and uh, this is uh, but it's not moving uh, these are the various colleges and uh, the last slide. This is at the New Horizon with this is last uh, with AP. So with this one, I am concluding uh, a session. Uh, sir Kupuswami, sir, are you there? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have taken more time. Sorry yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, sir. Are you completed now? Yes, sir. Any doubts uh, with the participants? Let them ask, sir, please. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, dear participants, if you have any uh, doubts, uh, uh, you may ask for uh, five minutes. Yeah, please. Any doubts, my dear participants? Any doubts? Please ask me any doubts. Or uh, you understood I... very well about uh, machine learning and deep learning concepts? Respond. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. And any doubts, please ask me, sir. I hope uh, they have understand uh, uh, about uh, machine learning and uh, deep learning techniques. Uh, yes. And also you have given uh, some basic uh, from the uh, Python, how to use uh, Python packages and uh, 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 machine learning packages and deep learning packages uh, for the yes. beginners to handle the uh, classification approaches and uh, to handle the images. 
I would like to uh, call upon uh, Manisha Madam to give a uh, word of thanks to the resource person. Uh, finally, we have come to an end of this first session of this FTP. It was very valuable and informative, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you, madam, for giving me thank this you, opportunity. Uh, thank you, sir, Kupuswami, sir, for uh, organizing uh, such a wonderful uh, one-day national, uh, one national level FTP on machine learning techniques for image classification. Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor, uh, for accepting our in, uh, invitation and also all the way uh, because there is a very early morning uh, you have, yes. uh, among that uh, your schedule also you have given a wonderful lecture to the participants. So on behalf of uh, VIT AP uh, scope, uh, I would like to thank once again all the participants and uh, especially to our resource person. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir.